Hello. I'm Fat Sal. I want everybody to have an extremely s Halloween. <laughs> now, Mr. Biffo. Firstly, you need to know you smell like a nylon remnant forlorn in a Basingstoke warehouse. You do. You know. Now, Halloween is a very scary time of year. I'm Fat Sal, and I've had my share of scares over the years. But the most terrifying incident that ever happened to me was last week. I was in the sty, minding my own business, smelling cardboard. There was a noise out in the yard next to the sty. I looked out and there in the mud was a man wearing a pig skin mask. I looked down, my teats all had maggots coming out the ends. Maggots. I burrowed, I burrowed in, but he entered the, the house, the sty. He had a rag smeared in earwax. I could smell it, he could smell it, and he gave it a sniff. And then he left. It was scary though. Happy Halloween. Is a Halloween special, uh, 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 an extra long evening of fun and fear and special guests and songs and the world premiere of my new television pilot. A little bit more about that later. Oh, oh it's the taste. <laughs> <laughs> It's the taste. Tanya? Yes, yes, Tanya, Paul. Tanya, do they have Halloween in any of the countries you come from? <laughs> I'm sure they do. What about Croatia? How do they celebrate I don't in know. Croatia? Well, so, uh, Croatia celebrates All Souls Day and All Saints Day. So All Souls Day, I think it's November the 2nd, or is it November the 1st? Is All, Sa- All Souls Day and November the 2nd is All, All Souls, Souls Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> All Souls Day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And they, so it's a day that you remember your ancestors and your loved ones that have passed on. If I remember correctly, <laughs> people will light a candle and put it in their window oh. in remembrance of their that's loved not, ones. That's not as fun as trick or treat. Yeah, I don't know if it's, if dressing up Halloween has taken off over there or not. What about Australia? So when I was a kid, I wanted it to take off and be a thing, but it mostly wasn't that was like here like some kids would dress up but you wouldn't really get trick-or-treaters or anything yeah it was like like here we, I was desperate we didn't, the only time I ever went trick-or-treating as a kid was uh, when I went out to visit my friends up in Scotland they because uh, they, they called it guising up there I went as like the hunchback of Notre Dame Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's it's original. politically correct these days. Oh, yeah. I had, like, a scary mask, but uh, I'm deformed. And, uh, yeah, the more I'm saying it, the more I'm realising it's probably not OK. Yeah, probably. Uh, but at least I'm, I tried to be scary. And one of the other people I went with wore a red polo shirt and carried a doll under her arm. And who was she? She, she claims to be, I'm a worker. That's what she said. I was really, I was like... A worker. Yeah, and her, her dad told me to shut up and stop criticising. She can dress, dress however <laughs> she wants. Stop criticising. Dress, she can dress Aww. however she wants. I remember I went to such an effort one year. I painted my face blue. I don't remember with, with what. Cause I was, and I had a long kind of cloak that my mum had given me, which was amazing. It was like a proper wizard's 
not cloak, like robe. Robe's the, a better word for it. So I had this robe on and then painted my face blue and I was gonna be a wizard alien. And I oh. thought, if I put in the effort, then I'd be allowed to go trick or treat. <laughs> she didn't let you go. No, she I had to sit to go around and... in your house. I'm a wizard alien. All, all dressed up. Yeah. In the house. Well, I probably just washed it oh, off. What a loser. I mean, who'd do that? To be fair, <laughs> get I, dressed up and just sit in their own house. I was only, I was only wanting to do it for the treats. Yeah. Well, uh, not for the, the joy of dressing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stick around. We got a lot coming up. Useless. So, the spookiest thing that ever happened to me was in Sheffield many years ago. I was walking back to a hotel at night, very, very dark, walking past a church that I had seen before during the day. Church where all the windows were bricked up, which is bloody weird. But anyway, walking past it and past the metal um, fence right alongside it, and I spotted what looked like a man in a hood standing right up against the fence. And of course, oh, put the wind up me. Then I realised it was just a bush. Ahem. So I walked along. And it wasn't until I was right beside the bush I realised, no, I was right the first time. It literally was a man in a hood standing almost nose to the fence. Hello, I'm Mrs Flash, and this is my special house on wheels. Well, I think it's time that we had a look at my TV pilot for Digitise the Supernatural World. I think it uh, is. I'd really like to hear what you all think about this amazing... High yeah, production. If I, humbly say, if I say it humbly, this this amazing. Do you think it's the best thing you've ever made? I think it, it's probably the best thing that I or anyone has ever made. Wow, move yeah. over James Cameron. It's moving, it's it's terrifying, and it's everything that anyone could want from a TV show. And it's all, all real. You're watching oh, it. Oh, it's all real. As it happened to us. Yeah. So... Grab your popcorn, kids. Settle back and watch Digitizer's Supernatural World. This is the park that I used to play in as a child. It used to be the grounds of a ancient manor house that, that some people grew as wanted. Come in here, we sit on the swings with friends with a bottle of cider. Go and have a piece in those woods over there. Um, but the woods work. of piss. Yes, the woods of piss. We didn't call them that. Let's not, let's not dwell on the piss. We're here to see if we can find some supernatural activity. Um, the, the original gates of the house uh, uh, towards the back of the park. Uh, we're going to go over there, take a look, see if we can found, find any uh, remains of the old house and see if we detect any supernatural activity. And along the way, I might show you some of my old haunts. Not literally, of course, I'm not a ghost. Is that all right? Stick a burp on it. Do you know what that means? No, I need the hand gel. That's good luck. Get me a hand gel. So I don't care if it's, no, it's, good it's luck money. If a bird poos on you. Oh, for but God's sake. It's money. I need a cloth or something. I need something. What I had was an old mask. I'll touch it. This is what you get when you disturb the ghost of the gate, Paul. This is why I don't go to parks. It's like that time I fell in uh, dog poo and put my hand in it, it squidged out through my fingers and my dad laughed. Once again, oh. it's good luck. Why are you putting it in my pocket? Well, that's well, disgusting. In the bin that's right there. What is this? Oh, this is creepy AF. Whoa, I mean, who climbed up there to tie that? Is this kind of like some sort of sorcery thing? I missed that. Well, what were you filming? I was filming the stick and the rope. Here he goes. 
Three, two, one, let's go! I can't grip this it. This is skill. We have a lot of history in this park. Look at this. <gasps> uh, Okay, you want me to carry on talking or yes. you just going to film a slab? Slab. This was one of my local parks growing up. Yeah. Uh, and one year we had to do a tree project at school. And this was the actual tree. What does tree project, what does a tree project entail? We had to do, well I remember coming here and doing a rubbing of the bark of this tree. Excuse me? We had to rub its bark. Is that appropriate? I'm trying to reminisce and, and be wistful and thought stuff in my head. And that's your bird poo hand. Don't. Uh, I hated the tree project, incidentally. Oh, that's sad. Well, you, yeah, because trees. My parents locked me in my bedroom basically to finish the tree project on a bank holiday weekend. They said I couldn't come downstairs until I'd finished it. Oh no! It's like pulling teeth. How long did it take you to finish it? All, all bank holiday weekend. The whole weekend. Yeah, but well, yeah, because I sat there. Down. Oh, and not doing it. Yeah. How long did it take you to do it in the end once you started? I don't know. I think we'll see why it took you so long because this is one giant well, Alan, tree. We didn't rub the bark of the whole tree. We didn't like clamber up it and like do a like one to one rubbing. No, it wasn't this tree. It wasn't oh, this tree. It looks like a red it, it was that tree. The one the lit thing's fallen off. Unless they've knocked it down. It was a general project on trees and then we had to pick one tree to talk about. And what did you have to say about this tree? I don't know, why are you asking me all this? Clearly it didn't go in. I hated doing it. That's why we're visiting it today. It's well, a beautiful we're here for tree. The ghosts. I don't want to speak. We're here for ghosts. I don't want to speak ill of the tree. I love trees and they're my kindred spirits. Okay, but they don't do much, do they? They do, or just like give us oxygen and keep us alive. Well, so you I know, love, you know no, what also sorry. gives us oxygen? Oxygen tanks. No, I'm sorry. Oxygen tanks. Doctors. I refuse. I can only speak well of trees because I really love them. Well, if they're so great, why don't you get trees in a hospital giving oxygen to patients? We should. And why don't why don't scuba divers when they go under the water take a tree down there with them? They don't. You know, carrying a big cut of trees under their arms. They don't. They take oxygen tanks. I I would. This is more like it. This is this is. You should recognise the bark. Yeah, well, I recognise the leaves. It's, it must, it's like an oak tree. I think it's an oak. Is this an oak tree? Look. Look, look like a little man. <laughs> Where to next? We're gonna go and see the site of my old cab. Cool. Two squirrels, two for joy. That's... Look, quick if you can, Sony. You can see. Look there. there, there. Yes, the other one's gone up. I'm so confused. Squirrels. Squirrels. Three. Three for a girl. Went up the tree when I got close. Here we are, everybody. We're at the site of the original Mr. Biffo Woodland Camp. Yes. And he's going to help. He's. Just I I'm noticing there's a little tone of sarcasm or amusement in this in your in your delivery. What? No, this I was think a big it's really cool. To me. It's really cool. So Mr. Biffo is now going to explain to us what used to happen in this camp. Yeah. When I was a child, this whole park had a lot more trees in it. It was densely packed. Uh, but they cut down all the trees because of perverts would lurk in them. But when we played in here, we had, uh, we would go into the woods and you'd be hidden from the rest of the park. And so we, we built camp somewhere over here. The tree that became the basis of our camp is no longer there. But if we walk over there, we might be able to see perhaps some evidence of it. All right, let's go. I think we might be onto something here. This might have been it. This might have been it. Because we, there was a bush behind it 
uh, perhaps a bush there, and then we had a gap where we'd go in, but we were hidden. But sometimes we'd go up. Yeah, I think I think this is it. This is very familiar. That V shape there. I think this was where my cab was. I mean, it's all gone now, but the memories linger. As you can see over here, all the uh, the evidence of deforestation on the area. Uh, loggers have been in here, cleared all the way through, and uh, yeah, the habitat is just stripped bare. Pupils. See all the, the damage has been uh, wrought by man's selfishness. These logs, just, just discarded logs as far as the eye can see. Oh well, to there anyway. Over here, some more, more logs, just chopped down, just left. More logs here behind you. Here, here, some more logs. Oh, look, here. <gasps> oh, I'm going to find out more. What are you doing? So this is the haunted gate. But when I was a child, we would be told that if you touch the gate, well, we would be told by some older boys. Some older boys said that if you touch the gate, a ghost comes out. So we've got to put that to the test. Is there a particular part of the gate that you have no, to touch? No, they didn't say. This, this park that we're in, you see, was, was an old manor house. Ooh, we should go look. That is crazy. Go in the woods and look for some of the, uh, bits in the man house you'd still yeah, see yeah let's right. do that okay well i'm gonna touch the gate okay right he's gonna touch the gate we're gonna see if a ghost comes out ready three two oh done you've it. done I've it i've already touched it Ooh. no ghost no go oh. stop it no i'm it's seeing if there's me. a ghost so we're now going in search of the ruins of the former manor house that was on these grounds uh in the hope of discovering some paranormal activity this area we once this is how i know that there at least used to be ruins of the manor house around here because there was a lot more trees and we used to hide out in the trees they cut all the trees down to prevent perverts oh. um, but one time we were chased by what we thought was a piglet what yeah i'm sure i've told you this story we thought it was a piglet and it wasn't it was one of those dogs that looked like a piglet we were all freaking out we we're all in the trees going, what's the kind oh, of guys this guy's taking a piglet for a walk What's the kind of dog that looks like a piglet? You're talking about a picture park? Of one up now. Oh. Okay, why do you keep it on me when I've finished? Digi friends, we are looking for remnants of the old house. How old is this house? I don't know. So, how long fact, ago? I'll put a fact up now here. Is this it? If I'm right, no, it's a tree trunk. If I'm right, I might be wrong. It might have been the ancestral home of Thomas Blackwell, who was uh, the Cross and Blackwell man. Um, the who? Cross and Blackwell, Branston Pickle. No, they do pickle. What kind of pickle? Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. No, no, pickle. I, like Branston Pickle. I know Branston Pickle. They do lots of things, Cross and Blackwell. I'll put up a selection of them. I probably now. can't eat any of them because they're all full of 
gluten. That's, well, it doesn't matter. It's like if, I, if I'm giving a fact about something, you don't then go, I can't eat that or I can't listen to that. Well, I think I think I generally do. You can't just shut everything down because you can't eat it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. We're looking for ghosts. Can't eat that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice tree. Tree, tree stump. Do you think we might see some fairies or something? No, because they don't exist. They do. I'm very disappointed because when I was a child and I'd come here, the the bits of the house, the, the basically the curb stones and the the remains of the walls were all here. And they probably when they chopped all the trees down, they got rid of all the bits of the walls. It's holly! Oh my god. Um it's gonna get me in the eye. I think Paul's found wow. I think Paul's found a treasure. Oh, bloody hell. How are they meant to be ghosts if there aren't any remnants of the old house? Yeah, well, there's exactly. the gate. That's about it. The gate, yeah. A modern, no, a modern fence. This is the worst they ghost hunt. Because we haven't yet detected any supernatural activity in this lovely nature reserve. People's houses over there. Yeah. That's, um, that's not very good for atmosphere. I'll turn around. Oh, there's stuff, there's that part, just rub it. Anyway, go on, what are you doing? So, um, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we need some sort of implement to help us see if we can, if, if like some sort of ghost detection tool. Well, best um, of luck with that, they don't exist. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can find us a dousing rod. Yeah. And I think this might work. So I've made this dousing rod and... It's two rods. Also, I okay, thought dowsing rods were looking for water. They are, but in this instance, we're going to... Look, we've got to work with what we've got. That doesn't work. Um, I want to tie them together. Anyway, so I think we'll say if they start shaking uncontrollably... There's a boy over there with a dog. If they start shaking uncontrollably, we're in the presence of supernatural activity. Let's douse. We found! What is that? Is that uh, it's a load of old poo. That's, that's disgusting. It's like a bird toilet. It's Ara. My creepy story takes us back 20 years to when I was still in school. I used to get the same bus every morning with the same people, go the same route. But one morning, I noticed this lady just stood by the side of a really busy road. I thought it was a bit odd, because it's not really the kind of road that had any houses near it, or the kind of road where you try and cross. Anyway, I'm watching this lady, ignoring my friends talking about whatever boy it was that they fancied that week. And I'm thinking, she's not gonna try and cross this road, that would be insane. Literally, as soon as the thought had left my mind, this woman just runs straight out into traffic. And I'm waiting for this crunch and a scream and babies to cry somewhere. But nothing happens. Except I look around and everybody on the bus is looking at me like I'm a weirdo because I've screamed. I mean, I'm used to people looking at me like I'm a weirdo now, but back then, not so much. So I run to the back of the bus and I look out of the window and traffic is flowing like normal. There's no lady, there's no sirens any, anywhere in the distance, nothing. So I assume I must have been daydreaming. Just go and sit back down, don't think about it until I get to school. When I get to school, I mention it to a friend of mine and he obviously said the same thing. I was losing my mind, but it must have really resonated with him because a few days later he came and found me and told me that he'd looked it up and almost a year ago to the day a lady had died on that road by running out into traffic so what i had seen was a ghost
song, yes. A song that'll scare you shitless in the night. It's a spooky song, yes. A song so scary your pants will fill with shite. Just imagine this, yes. A graveyard filled with nudes chatting in the gloom. And now imagine this, yes. The news linger naked near a tomb. It's a spooky, spooky night. You're gonna get a scare. And your ass will belch with fright. It's a spooky, spooky night. When you met her, there was a headstone. And another flies a kite. You hear a shriek, yes. As a nighttime new man crawls, shivering from a grave. It shouldn't be here. No. Graves should be used for bodies, not nude graves. I'll call the police. Yes, they shouldn't be here, nuding around the crypts. It's against the law. Yes, at the very least, they shouldn't all be stripped. All be stripped. It's a spooky, spooky bop. You're gonna get a scare. And your pants will fill with plop It's a spooky Spooky Eve If you men with no clothes on And you're thinking you should leave Cause this is Nude Night Hi, Nude Night, yes the darkest grey the nudie men come out to play us good folk does they remove their clothes and head down to the graveyard with hands on hips they display their nips and other things less mentioned these men like to get nude The unscheduled nudes are in the mood for dancing and for horseplay. They're platonic friends with barrier ends and nothing is more pure. But when you've come to grieve, it's hard to conceive of a more jarring juxtaposition. <laughs> How much better click it's I can't quick. click with that hand and this hand is weak in it's clicking. It's okay, my my clickings are strong. Okay, ready? Corner shop. Corner shop. Corner shop. Corner shop. Corner shop. Corner corner corner. Corner 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 corner. Corner 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 corner. Corner 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 corner. Corner 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 corner. That was terrible. Welcome to Corner Shop Corner, the new regular digitizer food tasting segment. And this week it's very spooky. It sounded like it was intended to be like a pun, but it wasn't. You set that up like it was a pun. Maybe, maybe it was a pun. Oh, we we haven't got time for this. <laughs> Corner Shop Corner is fast, and it is impulsive and it is straight into the snacks 
let's get to it. Do you remember, not so long ago, like a week and a half ago, we tasted some Brax One second. Oh. Thanksgiving ca- flavour candy corn. Brax Thanksgiving flavour. Oh, I do. Yeah, it wasn't how, very nice. How can you forget Brax Thanksgiving candy? How can uh, you forget Brax Thanksgiving How indeed candy can you corn? forget Brax Thanksgiving candy Thanks, Keop. <laughs> You know that reference? No. Yeah, that's good. Uh, right, so we're gonna we're gonna go and give. We're not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna sit here. And we're give, gonna stay. We're gonna stay here and give Brax a second chance. We are. We are. We're giving Brax. 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 We're not gonna say Brax off to Brax. Oh. We're uh, going a swearing to... joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Halloween. Yeah, that's the, it it's the night of the swim. Shit, piss, piss, shit, piss. <laughs> <laughs> more, Halloween, Bollocks. more like. What? Bollocks. <laughs> uh, Bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> the, the, the... Bollocks. <laughs> like a schoolgirl. Do you think bloody is a swear word? They've had it on Doctor Who, so no. I I never thought bloody was a swear word, but some people do. Anyway, quick, go in the shop corner. Straight of snacks. We've got Brax pumpkins. Ooh. Appropriate for the season of Halloween. Do you do you, you want to now spend ages taking, taking a, photo a photo of it like yes. you normally do? Yeah, I do. Instead of doing it before. So I'm hoping these will be a treat rather than a trick. However, I'm afraid we do have some tricks. Uh oh. Uh, in our next sampling round. You have kept all of our samples secret. I wanted this Halloween episode, this, yeah, to be a, uh, a, a surprise real... for you. Oh, I love surprises. Yeah, my wife hates surprises. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, I yeah, do. She genuinely does. So yeah. she's not going to enjoy any of this episode. Nope. So, right, Brax pumpkins. Mm, uh, they're little pumpkin shaped things described as mellow cream. Oh. Does that mean they're very relaxed and. Well, out. maybe. Maybe they've got CBT oil in them. CBT, like the therapy. Oh, no, what is it? CBD. Oh, CBD oil. Like Central Business District. Yeah, Central Business District. <gasps> Thank you, Keop. Um, <laughs> making moments of your day just a little sweeter is our passion. No, I thought that was going to be said about Halloween. Right, let's crack these open. All right. Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it went flying. Not liking the smell. It went flying across the room. They look like little boobies. Yes, they like, do. Well, I mean, I hope no one's boobies actually look like this. But... They look like little pigeon nips. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rude episode. <laughs> rude. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I like we... them. They're so cute. Yeah, they are oh. quite cute. I'll, we'll take some photos of those after. Yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. Ah, uh, no. No, no. It's candy corn texture. I mean, they're just sweet. They taste a bit like icing, but that's icing. There's no, there's no pumpkin flavour in there. Is mellow cream icing? Mmm. No, there is. Oh, sorry if that was loud. There is like a slight hint of pumpkin. I mean, okay. Now I'm getting. Now I probably should have taken it in little bites instead of eating the whole thing in one go. Now I'm getting the aftertaste and I'm getting hints of pumpkin, very subtle pumpkin. And yeah, it's there's a, a creaminess to it, but they've got a nice creaminess. So it's a bit like, would you say it's a bit like condensed milk? Yeah. Like icing made of condensed milk. But it's soft icing. It's not like Oh, it's hard beautiful. Icing. Yeah, but soft icing is the best. Too sweet for me. It's like same as I don't like donuts. It but is very don't, sweet. Donuts like, are just like a sugar nightmare. They're just like. I'd like. To say- basically, they're just a ball of sugar. So I would, I would, I would um, challenge anyone to eat like five of these in a row. You won't get through a packet. Yeah, you would. Without wouldn't. getting diabetes, at the very least. Yeah, and going at to the a very sh- least. Going to a sugar. At the very coma. most, you might get like ultimate diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> <laughs> what does that? What? It's just like, wow. Like off right off the charts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you don't want that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're very sweet, but they're very. I like them. Yeah. Right. I okay. Would, well, would... what would you give them? How many four corners out of four oh. are you going to give them? Don't deliberate for too long. I've noticed this on other videos. You spend too long giving it a ranking. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. It's not going to change anything to, to the think world. About it. Just no. Just give it a spur in the moment. Well, I need to explain my 
I need to explain my reasoning. You don't need to explain do. everything. Why do you have to over explain? I do. Okay, so they're not my favorite food in the world, but I'm still going to give them four corners. <laughs> Because if you if we separate it into the category of Halloween treats, I would buy these again. What are you going to give them? Four corners. <laughs> four oh. corners. Honours for forks. <laughs> you haven't even had any sugar today. Oh, I've got a bit lightheaded that time. Oh, no. <laughs> Honours for forks. Get that? No. <laughs> I'd like four corners, please. Here you go. Four honours for forks. Four, no. That's Does not. anyone else get that? Honours for forks. <laughs> Fork honours. Honours for forks. Honours for forks. What are honours? Fork honours. What are honours? What is an honour? Ornament. <laughs> Short for ornaments. Oh, ornaments for forks. Yeah, for ornaments. For fork. Ornaments. For ornaments. <laughs> fork ornaments. Four corners. Fork ornaments. Ornaments for forks. Or short for ornaments. Okay. How many are you giving it? Four. Four. That's really high. So you're yeah, saying. Yeah, because. Okay, but like, this is why I have to explain it. If if we are taking it out of general food and just putting out of general food, I wouldn't I wouldn't give it four because I'm not going to buy this again. What do you mean out of general food? Like all food in the world. You wouldn't buy this again. You're no, giving no, it no. a higher no, rating. No, wait, 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 wait. I would buy it again for Halloween as a special occasion food eaten once a year. I would definitely get it again. It's cute. It's tasty. It's got a nice flavour, which is the same as tasty. It's got a good texture. Um, yeah, so four. Mm. What about you? Two. What? So it's just sugar. So it's just low. it's just icing. Look how cute it is. I like the design. Sorry, how can you give that a two? I like the design, I mean. So you're giving it two just for design? Also, it doesn't look like an actual pumpkin, does it? Pumpkins aren't that shape. They're not yes. domes. Pumpkins aren't domes. They can be. They're pumpkin shape, not domes. That's a pumpkin shape. That's shaped more like an orna. <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> so help <laughs> I don't know what an honour is why don't you explain what an honour is in the I've told you already told you it's a short for an ornament okay after a vigorous massage wrap head in hot towel for two minutes before final rinse <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday it's so fresh in the mind and yeah there were people there there was loads of people there and they just didn't do anything, they just watched on. Some of them were gleeful. There were some people who were crying and looked upset, but they didn't act, that's the thing. And, you know, I'd like to think if I was in that position, I'd have said something, I'd have done something, I'd have stopped it happening, but maybe I wouldn't, I don't know. You, I guess until you're in that situation, you don't know. Um, but I remember they they saw it coming from some way back there was like I mean it seems silly to say there was music or something but it felt like it was in a film like the theme tune was playing and uh, sort of the tide parted and in it come angry stomping closer and closer to me I could eventually sort of feel its breath on my neck and it was at then the vicar said, we are gathered here today to... Oh God, she's coming again. Ghost Sausages. Come on down to Armstrong Wong's Haunted Sausages and Ghost Fest, the only Halloween event with real ghosts and haunted sausages. That's right, our sausages are cursed. They're bedeviled, they're blinded, they're covered in ulcers and lesions. These sausages have pig ghosts living in them. And they're not the only ghosts. Around every corner, you'll encounter a new restless spook. Let me introduce some of our best specters. Henry, a 19th century onion poet. Jocko, the spirit of a crab. 
Mrs. Janet Tree Boys, a living woman or pre-ghost? These ghosts are so scary, they'll make you drop your sausage. Our sausages are scattered all over the field. We have a table, but there's only one sausage on the table. The rest are down there in the mud. Nobody seems to be picking them up. We really need to get organized with these sausages. Nobody's going to want to eat sausages from the dirty ground. Who's responsible for this? We're not ready to open. Armstrong Wong Sausages and Ghost Fest. It's Ghost Sausastic. Good evening and welcome to the Halloween special. <laughs> yes, uh, my uh, ghostly spooky experiences uh, mostly is actually this house I'm in right now. Uh, a couple of, uh, not had any for a couple of years, but the upstairs bedroom, really weird. There's a, um, near the door, there's always a black shadow. It's, it's, not, it's not a shape or anything, it just covers the entire corner of the back. So this big black thing and when you're in there it actually feels like there's somebody there which is the weirdest thing but yeah you feel like there's somebody there but there's always a dark black shadow at the by the door it's really weird uh and other things uh i don't know what it is exactly uh but uh when my parents used to do fostering as well uh the girl who used to live with us uh she got attacked by something multiple times there um she had a, you know, the old fashioned, old fashioned CRT television screens and stuff like that. We had a, a cheap little uh, aerial thing, you know, the things that all, it was like a, you know, a coat hanger thing stick with all the things sticking out. And uh, one day, it literally just threw, something just threw it at her uh, in the room. And it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just throwing. It was, th it was through like that. And it was actually the, the, the cable on the back of it actually told tight like that, you know, completely tight. So it wasn't throwing it. It was actually like swinging it towards her and stuff like that so that was a weird thing um other place things that's happened to me is uh in this is actually in this room i could always hear breathing uh from upstairs uh and it's really annoying it's like really hard breathing and it's going <gasps> and it was always annoying because it was annoying because it was annoying me when i was because i was trying to edit videos or do stuff around this room here and now like I, was, I think i was doing drawing at the time and uh, it didn't make, it didn't scare me, it just made me angry. I just shouted at it once, you know, just shut up. You know, it was really annoying, it, it did actually stop. And the uh, the only other thing in this house is uh, when we went on holiday, uh, my brother came over to feed the pets and he was uh, absolutely adamant there was a kid in, uh, in the house because uh, he could hear laughing and he felt like somebody was running around downstairs. So he kept turning around and looking and laughing and stuff like that. So that's the extent of my spooky experiences, stuff like that, in this house. Happy Halloween. Hi. I'm filming this in um, the spookiest bit of my house. It's um, the door to the cupboard under the stairs. The reason I'm filming it here is because um, th there's often spiders in the cupboard, so me sitting right outside it is, is very, very brave. <sighs> so I'm going to tell you about the scariest thing uh, that's happened to me. Um, by the way, my house was built in 1990, and um, I don't think anyone died in it. It's mostly a rental property for like uh, young people who work at Gatwick Airport. It's around the corner. Um, uh, my mum's, it's my mum's house, I live in my mum's house, um, she, she's the first person to buy this property since the landlords bought it in 1990, anyway, sorry, so there's no ghosts, it's just spiders, uh, we don't even get that many spiders, actually, um, quite, quite lucky, uh, but there was one the other night on the wall, it was running down the wall, and, um, sorry, I'm gonna tell you about the scariest thing that's ever happened to me, um, anyway, look, no, just the reason that this isn't being filmed on a green screen, which I do own, is because when I went to set my green screen up the other night to film this, um, uh, there, was, there was a spider on the wall, and so I just went to bed, um, and I wrote about the spider on Twitter. Uh, so, uh, anyway, sorry, scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, and basically, I wrote about.
got spider on Twitter so that my mum would go and get it and she didn't. So she just she just stayed in bed. Uh, <sighs> okay, so I had a dream the other night and it's the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Basically, um, I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, there's no one here. I thought it'd be scary. Uh, the other night, um, I had a dream that uh, I was friends with Donald Trump. It was awful. But we weren't really friends. I just used to go to his office a lot and tell him that he was a piece of shit. Um, and he, he didn't like it. Like, we'd argue a lot, but he'd always invite me back. So that was happening. And he was president and he was... He wasn't in the Oval Office, though. He was in, like, a long, thin room like that boardroom in Network. Um, sorry, this is the scariest thing as I could think of. Uh, so, in the dream, he was also friends with Tyler Perry, who d directs a lot of terrible movies, and he's, like, Medea in the Medea movies. Anyway, I don't think him and Donald Trump would get on in real life, but in my dream, they were friends. And the this dream spanned several years, and me and Donald Trump were, like, hanging out on that. And I would, like, tell him, you're wrong about this, you're wrong about this, and he'd go, well, you're a jerk. And um, then I... Uh, oh. No, sorry, I thought there was a spider. Oh. Um, and then one day in the dream, um, I, I went, like, you're not going to be president very soon. Uh, you won't be president anymore. And he went, ha, ha, ha. You always tell me what you think. And I screamed in his face, I fucking hate you. Right? My legs hurt. And um, so I'm crouching. I thought it'd be scary. So that that was the dream, right? And then um, one day, he looked like he was going to lose the presidency. And he just went mad, right? He was had a gun and he was shooting staffers. And he and I was going, no, Donald, please drop the gun. Please drop the gun. And then he shot Tyler Perry. And that was too far for me. And I tried to get the gun off him and he turned it on me. And so I just ran away and uh, hid in an air vent. And it was my ultimate dream to hide in an air vent, so that wasn't scary, that was cool. And so I'm in the event in the dream, and um, he, he, I hid in it for hours, and he kept walking past going, where are you, where are you? And then he just slumped catatonic and dropped the gun on the floor. And I climbed out of the air vent, and I just went over really carefully, got the gun, put it on my jumper and walked out. And I was like, I can't call the police, because what if they don't believe me? And so what I did instead was I put the gun up my jumper and then I called MSNBC and I spoke to Rachel Maddow um, and I said, Rachel, this is what happened. And she said, you've, you've changed the world with this. And, um, and as I was hearing that, in my dream, it dissolved to years beforehand when and like a newly elected, ebullient Donald Trump was cycling around on a bike in Paris and he cycle he was cycling past Putin and um uh, Farage and Tyler Perry and they were all on bikes in Paris and they were going, Ah, bonjour and laughing. Now I know that sounds like crazy, but within the dream that was bone chilling. Like that was so unbelievably scary. Um, but now it doesn't seem that scary. But spiders are. And then it dissolved back to the present and I was in an ambulance and I had a blanket around me and I said to a paramedic, what if no one believes me? And the paramedic said to me, the whole world will believe you if you believe yourself. And then I heard a gunshot and then I woke up like, oh! And it was 4 a.m. and um, I wrote it all down. Anyway, it was really scary. Um, happy Halloween. Our next sampling on Corner Shop Corner is unfortunately going to be the trick portion of the uh -oh. of the segment. Okay. I think you're all familiar with Bean Boozled. Oh, no. However, these aren't any ordinary Bean Boozleds which started life, if you may remember, as the licensed Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. These are Bean Boozled Flaming Five Challenge. That sounds worrying. Five beans of increasingly hot. Oh. 
flavour. Do, do, are they colour coded? Yes. So you know we. Okay. So. All right. Let's do this. Oh, you're can, up for this. Yeah, I'm up for this. Good. Who can handle the so heat? So the flavours are sriracha, yes. jalapeno, nice, cayenne. Nice. Ca- is that how I say it? Cayenne. Yeah, Ca- I think cayenne. So. Cayenne. 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 I can't uh, habanero mm-hmm. and a Carolina Reaper. I don't fear the Reaper. More cowbell. <laughs> okay. So, what, so does it say we which ones are the mildest? And yes. Each other? Yes. Yes. How hot can you handle? Which of us? Can God. What? The smell of chili. Oh. Smell oh. them. Ooh, that actually smells. I wonder what. Oh, finish your sentence, please. Okay. That actually smells really nice. But they, um, I wonder what they taste like. They on genuinely a pizza. smell like chili. Yeah, they do. That 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 is pure chili. Well, I'm a little bit concerned. All right, oh, so it's irritating my nose. Which is the mildest? The mildest. Well, it's a, you can look at this. You don't spill them. It's okay. the sort of darker orange one. So I'm assuming. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's two oranges. And that is that one. sriracha flavour. Yeah. So we take. There's one there. Okay. The dark orange. Dark orange. I mean, it doesn't help that they haven't really colour coded them well, but never mind. No. All right. right, we're giving these a go. Okay. We're going to try each one. My nose has been irritated by smelling that. They've obviously got chilli powder in them or something. Well, I'd hope so. Ready? Oh, boy. Is this the mildest? I don't or is this habanero? Sriracha. I have habanero. I think this is habanero. We've gone... I think sriracha's... We've gone too high too fast. Oh, my throat is... That's happened here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's hot. I like it. I mean, it's just heat and pain, isn't it? It doesn't taste of anything. There's a bit of... There's a bit of habanero flavour Well, should we try the lighter coloured one, then, and hope that we actually can taste some sriracha? So, let's try and separate... Coming at you. Hang on, wait. That's... Carolina Reaper... That's Cayenne. How, well, no, that's Carolina Reaper. Yeah, that's Carolina Reaper. That's Cayenne. No, it looks no, like... No, that's Car- Carolina Reaper. That's Cayenne. Oh, here's a better picture on the back. It does say the sriracha was the dark... It did not taste like sriracha. If that's the... What, okay, let's go for jalapeno. that's the mildest, we're screwed. Let's go jalapeno. All right. Green. Greeny. Green. Green machine. It's not... We're definitely mild. Definitely mild. That's not until you flavor. swallow. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's not mild when you swallow. Is it not? I would have got the heat from the previous one. I mean, it feels like I've got a sore throat. Oh, I don't like the taste of this. Mm. I can't place. I can't place the Taste. flavour, but it. Yes, it's, it's because my nice. mouth is, is diseased from the previous one. It's not nice, is it? It's not nice. It's, I'm start, actually it's starting to un- sweat. It's an unpleasant flavour. I'm starting to sweat under under makeup, which is not good. I know. Next one. Makeup doesn't run. Yeah. Whew. I didn't even have milk or yogurt. <sighs> I so have to. what are we going for now? I don't really know. Well, I didn't try the cayenne. lighter orange, so... Well, that's going to be hotter. Oh, the cayenne. So that's the darker red, according yeah, to our... darker red. Cayenne. According to the or, lying map. I feel like we're saying it wrong. Cayenne. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the rapper. Yeah. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Supposedly cayenne. I'm getting a sweetness. Smoky sweetness. I should like that. It's hot. But, you know what I want? I'll tell you what it tastes like. TCP pa- the pas- pastille. What you got? Are you not in, like I am, considerable discomfort? I don't like the taste. I'm not in considerable discomfort. It's, I I can, I did, like, there is a smokiness to it. 
but the, it tastes like you know this is not my it's like wet cardboard or something it's, it's not, just not my energy levels down there isn't it <laughs> I'm just in pain that's all I can focus on <laughs> All right, let's just get this over with because okay. I'm going to have to have some milk because this is building up. I don't like the up. taste. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit hot, but it's not unbearable. I don't like the taste. It tastes like right. cardboard. So the lighter orange. Well, we've had the light. No, we had the dark one. We had one. a dark orange? Okay. All right. This is supposedly habanero, but, or it could be sriracha. Who knows? <sighs> get ready. Ready? I can't taste it, my mouth hurts. I can't taste it, my mouth hurts. <laughs> That's disgusting. I actually wish we hadn't done this. I mean, I don't want to have water because it's going to make it worse. It's it's disgusting. It tastes bitter. I wish we hadn't done this. Jesus. It tastes bitter. Let's just get the last one down the Carolina, Re Re Carolina Reaper. It's like swallowing a poisonous caterpillar or something, like a spitfire. I'm actually, I'm not even like doing a, uh, I'm a YouTuber doing this for camera. I'm actually in discomfort. It just... Let's just it, have the last one. It tastes... The red one. <laughs> it tastes foul. Uh, just get it, get the really last one. Do that? Yeah, we have to do it. The orange one made my tongue hurt. To the toilet, it's really good. Yeah. Just, just, just do it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Don't want to do it. I've got to put it in my mouth now. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, yeah. That's bad. Jesus, we're going to have to get milk or something. That is bad. That's, I found that milder than the, the other ones, but... <laughs> Do you think we had the bad one first? Or no, that's bad. Water or something. I need something. I mean, you don't want water. Do you want water? <laughs> or get milk? I don't know if we want milk. Jesus Christ, I wish we hadn't done that. People have got a, less of a tolerance to that stuff, haven't they? Okay, that's really bad. I hate milk. Okay. Is this comes out of a cow's tip? Is this that milk? <sighs> Just tastes like cow water. Cow water? <laughs> How do you know what cow water tastes like? How can you be amused by anything at this point? <laughs> I mean... How can you be amused? How are you not in awe? Did you chuck it away or did you eat it? No, I ate it. It's burning at the back of my throat a little bit. I mean, I have gastritis. I shouldn't eat that. Oh, no. Oh, you're actually right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why didn't you stop me? I didn't think of that. Why, why did you do it? I'm a YouTuber now. I can't talk. We're going to have to stop before we film the next... I'm giving that okay, nothing. Many, no corners. How many corners that for? I'm going to give it nothing because it just doesn't taste good. It tastes like... It tastes like chemical cardboard. <sighs> need more milk. And... I need more milk. It's the first time I've drunk milk since I was a child. It's not going away, Sanya. It's not going away. It actually isn't going away. I think you can eat bread as well. I'll give you bread. Can I dip the bread in the milk like, a, like you're not meant to do to hedgehogs? Bread to the rescue. Why has it affected you so much more than me? People have different tolerances to, to it. Have bread. I don't want to stop putting milk in my mouth. Have the whole, like, dip the whole piece in. <sighs> How do I make it stop? Okay, so has, does this make you want to try the bean boozled, super spicy... Is it beans? <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's out of control. The other day, I was talking to someone in the kitchen and Paul was in another room. Okay, it's easing up. Okay, that's good. Bread helped. Bread meant to It's be still good. bad, but it's still, it still hurts. Wow. Mm. 
I mean, my mouth does burn a bit, but I'm more offended by the taste. That was just unnecessary. I think the worst was actually the cayenne. It had a slightly spicy taste. Uh, not spicy. It had a, <laughs> a slightly spicy taste. It had a slightly... Slightly, slightly spicy. It had a slightly smoky taste, but it was just like cardboard. It was foul. Milk and bread did help a lot, but it still is. It's, it was the back of my throat, and now it's just the sides of my tongue. Yeah, mine is. I don't know. Well, let's never eat those again. I'm happy to agree with you. Do what you gave them nothing. I'd give them nothing. I'd, well, why would you bother? They taste disgusting and they're painful. Yeah. So, sorry. Get off my face. Oh. Why did they start doing that? That was Corner Shop Corner, everyone. See you later. Cut corner you later. I was trying to think what the song, how the song goes. Oh, corner shop. Corner shop. Corner shop. Corner shop. Corner shop. This young lady is responsible for the weather in her home. <laughs>
which were the site of W.S. Gilbert's home until his death. Gilbert, of course, you'll know, was the opera writer and playwright partner of Sullivan. Uh, and it was on these grounds that Gilbert died. And we're hoping to have a great deal more luck this time round. We've, we've called in some expert help and let's go. I spent a great deal of my childhood in these woods. I had a rope swing just over that river there. Uh, we uh, had various camps around the area. I would on occasion do a piss in these ferns here. Um, what, the ferns of piss? Let's not dwell on the piss. I'm here with a uh, renowned ghost expert. You don't know, you don't know. Paul Gannon. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> we're meant to be... We're not going to sell this to the History Channel if you act like an arse. Well, you said I didn't know yet. So I'm not frightened because you were a stranger. I'm here with uh, renowned ghost hunting expert, Paul Gannon. Hello to you. I've joined uh, Mr. Biffo today on this supernatural uh, uh, ex tradition uh, to look for a ghost. I've brought stuff with me. Now, as people may know, I am a ghost expert. I know the most about ghosts. I know more than you. So, <laughs> I've brought some things. I've got me little recorder with me muff on that's highly sensitive to capture any ghost that might say hello. I've got me ghost book. Right. The Ooh. Hamlin Book of Ghosts. Every ghost hunter needs a tool. I've got me tool, there we go. It's me K2 ghost hunting meter as seen in ghost shows like Most Haunted and that. Yes. Can you tell the viewers at home a little about how this works? Well, it's really an electrician's tool. This measures the electromagnetic frequencies in the air. The theory is that ghosts absorb that from nearby power outlets, vending machines, fuse boxes, and then uses it to manifest. So, at green, we're all right, but if we get into yellow and red, there's a powerful EMF force. We'll, 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 we'll connect with it, and we'll make contact with the ghost. What sort, of, what, what sort of force did you say? Electromagnetic force. What sort, what sort of force? Use the force, Luke. What, what sort of force? What, what, you said that. EMF. That's yeah, but that, F's got the word force in. So just you, say EMF. It's an EMF force. That's unbelievable. Ding, 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 ding. I wanted to do that joke. I don't think I brought the phone with me. I'm very psychic. I don't know if people know this about me. Very psychic indeed. Let me just... Oh! Well, that's not social distancing, <laughs> is it? <laughs> we'll get complaints. Oh, I've just made a dirty complaint. <laughs> I've sensed what? something from you. One, you're familiar with these woods, I feel. I feel like in the past you may have built camps here. And yes, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm fe have you, did you hurt a hand here? Did you hurt a hand here? I'm feeling pain yes, in my no. hand. Yes, and finally, I'm smelling lots of piss. Yes. I'm smelling what? lots and lots of piss. Don't so laugh at him. I'm guessing. No, I told very, you, that's what they're called. Okay, everyone just stop going on about the piss in the woods. When you're up here and you need a wing, there's no toilet. Really? You, you can't help me you've never peed in the woods. Never. Paul, Paul, there's a lake there. Is that the... No, it's not the lake. No, we're in the woods, so this shouldn't go off at all unless a ghost was nearby. So... What's happening? Have you detected something? We did something? detect well, it did something. go off and we thought it was the building, but we're right near the tower and look. It did flicker back there, where there shouldn't have been any. And with, I thought it might have been your recorder, but no, not, look. that's not. It flickered we where go there's back no. To that spot? Yeah, let's go back to that spot. Oh, okay. Maybe we I'm have seen it. I'm feeling a bit out. <laughs> what was it? What's here? Nothing. Oh, oh God, it's a leaf! It's a leaf! What is here then? There must be something under the ground. Put it near the ground. No! Oh, oh! It's, it's waist high. Hang on, let's see how high this goes. There this is really here. creeping me out. There is a ghost just here. Where is it? It right, stopped. stopped. It's literally in this area. <laughs> oh, is this real? And it's not down <laughs> there. It's <laughs> a real ghost. Maybe this is where he stood thinking about jumping in the lake. I'm seeing, I'm trying to look 
something. There is something happening yeah. in this facility. Why don't you think is, it's a ghost? Because it's too consistent. So unless there's literally a ghost standing here. Well, he just here. could be standing there waiting for a bus. Are you a fairy? Why are you Make one fairies? leaf fall down. What? With WF Gilbert, it's not going to turn into a fairy. And there's a little patch of it right it's, here. But it's in the air. It's not a... It's not any no, lower. It's not lower. Or, or too high. We've discovered something really impressive, haven't we? Yes. We've yes. definitely proven a ghost we is have, here. We've had our first encounter. With a ghost. As we've seen, this, this entire area is a brimming, yeah. brimming with paranormal uh, activity. Unlike the park. Ah, oh, I've just... Oh, my goodness. What? It's a, around this level. What have you seen? That's where pee comes from. Oh, the it's pissing ghost woods. Piss. Oh. It's ghost it's piss. Ghost piss. This is an arc of piss. Well, perhaps he should have changed his name to WC. <laughs> <laughs> We're here now at the ornamental lake where W.S. Gilbert drowned. Uh, it was originally a lot larger apparently, but it got drained shortly after his death. What fish him out? No. They sent people down to get him out. And then what drained the lake because it stunk a dead old man? I don't know. Why did they put the water back in at all? They did, it rained! It used to be on that, <sighs> Jesus Christ. What happened was he was, he'd gone in, he was giving a swimming lesson to two young women. Right. And one of them got into difficulty. He went in to get her out right. and had a heart attack. Clack was over that side, which oh. I'm assuming. I got a little tremble on me thing. Uh-oh. What's his first name, the man? W. William? William. Is it what? William? I don't know. Why didn't you do any research? I did! No, your research is, I once pissed in these woods and an old man Don't died here. Your research stops and starts with whatever you were told at the age of 14. You could have done research on, on his name. W.S. W.S., yeah, great. So what, William, William Sadler... Gilbert. Gilbert. William Sadler Gilbert. How old was he when he died? How old? Mate, you could have done research. He was 71. He, he jumped in to save a woman. A when history he was... channel. Then you need to know history. I do. You don't. Down, You've down, got nothing other than down say. Here. Man drown here. Man drown here. Does it, does, ultimately, does it matter who he was? Yes, because otherwise we're looking for nothing. Nothing well, at all. It, 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 what? You don't need to know his name in order all, to... All I've gathered today it helps, is that you like to piss in the ferns and everything smells of arse here. It does smell. I, I will it, say that. It does really because smell. Because that's a sulphur, like a devil thing. Yeah, it could be the devil. It's definitely the devil. <laughs> Devils and ghosts are linked, aren't they? Yeah. Why are you Apart from the fact that there are no such things as You're demons laughing. until the Bible was written by Catholics and so the whole idea of that whole side of things, demonology, is all bollocks. It's all been in a construct. No, nothing. Right, his first name was William, so... But try Bill as well. Bill, he... mate, come on out of the pool where your soul rests and join us on the sand and make contact with us my god i've just found out his middle name schwenk schwenk it is it's william schwenk gilbert his middle name's schwenk schwenk <laughs> schwenk any... schwenk 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 you, you can't you can't guilt him out with anger schwenk ah here's the important we'll scare point him out Nothing you see on this show is faked. We do not fake any supernatural phenomenon. No, we didn't. We didn't fake that. Couldn't have faked that. Frank, there's um, Mr. Biffo's technique is to scare the ghosts out with I'm his anger. I'm not scaring it. I'm calling him. You sound really angry. That's how I shout. Okay, but like that might put him off. He might not want to come out if he's okay, feeling right. like whoa, whoa, whoa. If I was a ghost, I right, and I didn't get, ditch. I didn't get many visitors. Yeah. Okay. There aren't going to be many people with the middle name Schwank, okay? And if I had someone in my vicinity shouting Schwank, and that was my name, I'd at least want to come out and want to know what they wanted. If yeah, someone was okay, calling your so, name out of the house, you'd go and have a look. Listen, we have this issue with the cat. She won't come to you unless you have the gentle voice. 
So maybe you need to do the gentle voice. No, she won't come to me because I don't lure her with treats like you but do. But she likes you when you talk in the gentle voice. So maybe you need to talk in the gentle voice to the ghost. Shrink. Mm, shrink. William, shrink. Sh shrink. Shrink. Bit more gentle, please. Shrink. 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 Now, Shrink. speak as if you've got something nice for him. Shrink, I've got you a treat. Shrink. No, they're still sounding a bit angry. Well, I'm getting pissed off. Shrink. 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 Come Shrink. on. Shrink. 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 I don't think he's here. There was a little bit of activity that I filmed on the camera. It flashed ever so briefly to yellow at this spot where you were calling out Schwenk. So, well, should we, if this was the spot, should we try it? Should I try Schwenk again here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe Let me just show this spot. I was doing soft swanking over there. Uh, well, no, it sounded more like you were shouting for a lost dog. Hello, be Schwenk here, please. That's it, that's oh, nice oh, and gentle. Oh, oh my God, it's gone really high. Oh, of course, he's a Victorian gentleman. You need to speak to him with, yeah, with say, like, with reverence and politeness. Hello, Schwenk. Come, hello, come Schwenk, close. old chap. Schwenk, reveal yourself. Hello. I say, I say, I say. Schwenk, could you please come here? Schwenk, I, Schwenk. I hear mother's made some cucumber sandwiches. Shrink, come to us. I don't know if he's a cucumber sandwich kind of guy. He's, uh, uh, what does he like? Not drowning. Well, yeah. well, uh, Stay, opera. Staying alive uh, and opera. Oh, opera. Quick, offer him opera. I'm the very model of a medicine in muddle colour. Okay. Never do I'm also good and different of a muddle I can't believe my biscuits are so dry. I want to suck them and the bestest biscuits in the sound of every town I suck on them. <laughs> Something like that. Is it flashing? No. What's happening? There's getting some activity in the woods. What were you doing? Why do you? Why are you doing that? I haven't got anything to say. That's really strong. Oh, it's going orange. That's a very strong. Okay. Signal. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, went so red, Paul. So I go down there. No, I'll go down there. But it's oh, it's <gasps> no, it was there. Now it's gone. I think he's leading us to where he died. It's not flashing. I'm getting very psychic well, readings. Is it, if he died there, has it gone off? You don't know. It's gone off. Oh, there's a bike helmet in the water. Gilbert's there's a, there's a ghost of a bike man. Biker. Why, is that, why would that be there? Street Hawk died here. <laughs> this place is a, a horrible... <laughs> Carnage. Carnage. Gilbert died here. Street Hawk died here. Do you think this is Street Hawk's log? <laughs> well, I can safely now re-evaluate and say that Street Hawk died here. And I think we need to have a moment's silence for Street Hawk. Paul, are you... I'm are not, you... I'm not commemorating Street Hawk's death. Mate, you take this to the History Channel and they're like, mate, I've got an opera singer and an 80s bike rider as a ghost. Paul, are you picking up on any messages not... from Switch Street Hawk? No, can we not talk about Street Hawk anymore? I'm <laughs> Dr. Street Hawk and I should have had a second series. Oh, Me, I have anything. a bike. I'm going over I've here. I've got a bike and it's got a boost. I'll, I'm going to film this myself now. <laughs> I'm doing it myself, I've had enough. Bye everyone, I'm Street Hawk. I'm going back to heaven. Located in Old Reading, which is part of the whole ornamental lake concept. Uh, it's uh, uh, an old water feature. What are you doing? Oh, oh, water. Oh, 
it's all gone in my bloody shoe. Wet. So here we have Paul Gannon doing an exorcism on the ghost tree. I'm doing my best to get whatever evil in the tree out. All good. It might be a good ghost that just no. wants to cross over. All right. Well, if you want to cross over. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can pick up it's one of It's definitely coming out. Yeah, I've got it. Let's have a look. I can't see it. It's just in the hand. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in Biffo's air. <laughs> what have you got? Tree ghost in the hand. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> So what? It's it, it was like a if you go, it was like a fountain or a, a I don't know waterfall, fake waterfall. Oh, I think we should get over there. <laughs> That's not the lake where he drowned. What I've got here is the Hamlin Book of Ghosts in Fact and Fiction. Now, there's a chapter here about one such ghost hunter by the name of Harry Price. He was famous for uh, investigating what was allegedly called the most haunted house in Britain, Borley Rectory. But some believe he fudged the results just to uh, get more interest in people coming to see the house. Anyway, he had a list of things that he said every ghost hunter should have. Now, I remember he existed around the turn of the you know 1900s. Around so. the time that... Schwenk died. About the time of Schwenk died. It's all thematic. Uh, here's what a ghost hunter should have. He says you should have soft felt overshoes used for creeping. So you've got to creep about in the dark so you don't make footsteps, which people can hear downstairs, right? Surgical tape for sealing windows. Now you do that so breezes don't come in. So when people go, oh, it's cold here, then it's. Why are you filming me? I'm doing him. Don't film him. He's adding Why are you filming me? It's all about me. It's the expert. This is the expert sequence. The ex yes, the expert. Thing. Look over there. So, so matches. Dog and a lady. Candle. They're looking at us. Well, of course they are. We're ghost hunting. We're doing science. They're probably going there too old to be YouTubers. Oh, ghost dog. Oh, bloody hell, now the dog's coming. Spectral dog. When they only finished at the list, they let me get to the top of this. Yes, the dog's coming. Oh, matches, oh, candle oh. and torch. But dogs are good. People, audiences like dogs. They like it. Oh, uh, oh Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Is it filming? Yeah. A nice, powerful reaction like you've seen it done. Paul, are you detecting anything? I'm just going to look now with my machine. Oh my talking god, it's a me. ghost! No, go, 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 ghost! She was no. talking to me! Oh, you see that? Whoa. I'm gonna look over here. See if I can see a ghost. Whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a fucking ghost! Oh my god! Oh, oh my goodness! Go, 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 ghost! Oh, oh no, the ghost fell down. Oh, are you okay? You alright, ghost? Yes. I think the ghost has hurt itself. Has he? Uh, well, he's really sad. It went off. Oh no, oh, he's down. Did you just burp? Yeah. <laughs> the ghost is hurting himself and you're burping. I'm getting strong readings. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off! Hi! I'm going to the it now. Who do you think it is? And it, it, it will never be sold. It's a... Oh, oh my god! No, What's wait, up? No, this is it. This is the pond. Wait. There's the bit, there's <sighs> the remains of the jetty. You mean after all that? We were at the wrong pond the whole time. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, there's the jetty over there. We've been at the wrong pond the whole time. Yeah. So he drowned in here. Yeah. Shrink. 
a yellow cake this firm could only be from scratch. Here's one for you. So, where I grew up, it was a very small village. There was a few houses, a school, and a church, and a big graveyard. And uh, it was a Church of England school, so a lot of the stuff that the school did was with the church. And there would be the only things going on were to do with the school and the church. That was it, because it was such a small place in the moors. And it, the where this takes place was uh, it was in the winter time, and I must have been about five or six. I was quite young, and we were setting up something to do with the church. Um, maybe it was a play or some event that was going on, and there was decorations. Something had to be sorted out in the church. And um, as kids do, they, they wander. So my mum was setting something up or whatever, and I was wandering off, doing my own thing. And because it was in the winter time, and it was a big, reasonably, you know, biggish church to someone of my small stature. It was quite dark in the church. There was little there was little nooks and crannies where light did not reach very well. And down the side, I think, of um where like it was like this there was a side a side bit. And down there at the end was some kind of shadowy shape that was Probably no no more than five foot off the, the floor that was moving very slowly and silently. And it was kind of backlit from the stained glass at the end of this thing. And this weirded me out because I've never seen anything like it. And I, I ran I ran away thinking that this was a bit strange and stuff, but I didn't want to bother anyone. And I went back to see if I could see it again to to investigate. And it it wasn't there, but it was higher up. And it was still very silently sort of floating in, and it was stuck in like some of the stonework. It was kind of hanging around. Um, and because, like, having seen it a second time, I was like, okay, oh shit, that something's, something's weird here. So it was kind of too high up for me to see what it was at this point, even if I did get closer. I didn't want to get any closer, so I went and got the grown-ups to, to deal with this. I didn't know what it was. Maybe they did. They came and they had some kind of... They, they were, like, hanging decorations up anyway or taking them down. Something was happening where they had a long pole that you would open the windows with uh, in schools and everything. And so they they went to see it and they got it down. <laughs> and it was a christening balloon that had gotten away somewhere in the past week or so. Um, and the helium was gradually getting out of it and therefore it was causing it to sort of hover around and go up and down a bit but move because it was a drafty church so it was moving around this whole time so it was not a spirit it was not a ghost it was a balloon well we come now to the climax of our Halloween special and Sanya doesn't know What's happening at uh, all, I've do got, you? N- that's nothing unusual, is it? No, and I, I knew that you wouldn't want me to get a Ouija board, so I didn't get one. Oh, phew. Yeah. You better... No, I'm serious. It, 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 I hope it's nothing like a Ouija board, because I'm not going to be... You know, I didn't sleep last night. Does that look like a Ouija board? No, it could be rolled up. I didn't sleep last night not because we Ouija finished board. watching... I got it on eBay. Haunting of Hill House on yesterday. I'll let, do you want to open this, or shall I open it? Um... If it, no, I don't know. What, who do you think should open it? Well, you can open it. It's not gonna. It's not. It better not be a rolled up Ouija board. It's not a Ouija board. It says fragile on it. As well, 
wrapped, isn't it? They've gone a bit excessive on the tape. Be careful, though. Don't Just hurt, like, I, hurt, hurt I go excessive on tape, her. but not quite to this level. Okay, it's give it here, because it's taking me. you forever. Give it here. I don't want to cut anything. Oh, careful, you're going to stab your leg. No, I'm not. Look, you just got to be violent with it. No, you're going to stab your tummy. <laughs> no, that's not how you use a knife. Oh, my God, he's so unsafe. It is how you use a knife. It's how I use a knife. Okay, please, can you not aim it at your leg? Right, here we are. You can take out what I did, and you oh, can show it to the camera. I can see a little hat with a pom-pom on it. It's probably like a skeleton or something with a pom-pom hat. Is there a reason you want me to open this? Well, just see what your first impressions like are. It's a joke reason. It's not a joke. This oh, isn't a joke. Some kind of doll. This isn't a joke. It's this is very joke. serious. Oh, is it Scottish Barbie? Oh. It's a drama. He better not be haunted. Drama boy. But he's got creepy eyes. I mean, sorry, look at his eyes. That, his, they okay. blink. I think you want to say her, her eyes. Okay, uh, look uh, at her eyes. They blink. Yeah. Um, it, this better not be haunted. This is haunted, isn't it? You got a haunted doll from eBay. I can feel its hauntingness in my hands. Yes, it's haunted. Oh no, I don't want a haunted doll. This is why I was scared last night. This is, okay, <sighs> let's be nice. This is Muriel. Do you want to know a little bit about Muriel? No, I really, I don't want a haunted doll in the house. Like, I seriously we're, don't. It, it's in the house now. We'll, we'll... I'm, I swear, last night I had the worst night. I woke up and, and I felt scared. And I didn't want to open my eyes in case I saw something. <coughs> Go to the... <coughs> See? Go towards the light, please. It's all right. We'll, we're going to have a chat with Muriel. No, I don't want to. Please don't. I don't want a haunted house a doll in the house. Okay, so like, let me just tell you a little bit about Muriel. Okay, I bought Muriel on eBay. There was a, there's a seller who sells vessels, which um, the the dead live in, and this is this is this is one which has a spirit called Muriel living in it. Now Muriel died aged 68 years. Okay, she was I'm trying to think of that old. famous line from the film Muriel's Wedding. Oh, we always used to say it at school. You don't want to let me finish telling you. Do you want to go off on a tangent about Muriel's wedding, or shall we respect Muriel by? I would be respecting her, her by saying the line, which I can't remember. You're terrible, Muriel. No, you're lovely, Muriel. You're lovely, Muriel. Go towards the light. Muriel died aged 68 years of age. She took care of her sister's grandchildren while their mum went to work. I'm actually getting goosebumps. Oh. Muriel didn't like men. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, she had one date when a younger woman and him touching her and trying to kiss her made her feel sick that was the first and only date she ever had she had lots of patience with children however Muriel hated beggars in the streets she retired aged 60 years of age she had worked in the same office all her working life Muriel is very kind to women and she was a talker in life so she misses conversation the doll was bought on one of her holidays this used to belong to Muriel Okay, she loved writing postcards while on holiday. She will make herself at home. She can move objects. Do you know what? And I she has the attitude, I can and I will. She also loves to travel. Travel by throwing it out the So we window. have Muriel here. I don't want Muriel anymore. I mean, thanks Muriel, please go towards the light. Can I just say, our house has not ever been haunted. We've had a lovely house energy since we moved in. Okay, it was a house full of women. Um, Muriel's going to love it. You and Tully aren't women. Okay, but she'll learn to trust me. <laughs> Remember, Muriel likes to move objects. <gasps> Do you know, you know, earlier when I was upstairs, yeah. my um, pot with makeup brushes all fell... I mean, okay, I did bump the dress it was on. <laughs> they, all, they all fell down and it stressed oh, me out. I put my finger between Muriel's legs. Oh, no, don't uh, do that. I didn't mean to. It just went oh, through. Muriel, look. Okay. I am the spirit of the misplaced childhood. No, let's not make fun of Muriel's accent. I'm trying to I be love respectful the here. And you're the only one who's making fun of her by no, saying you're awful, Muriel. You're not no, awful, Muriel. No, you're not awful. Muriel would know if she can read minds. And you're the one making fun of her accent. I'm, I'm not, trying to be I respectful love, of Muriel. I love the accent, number one. 
I love the accent. It's one of my favourite accents. And you've been very unwelcoming to Muriel. No, I haven't. Whereas I've told Muriel nothing but good. Nothing but good. Okay. And you're like, yeah, I don't want Muriel. You're making her feel unwanted and I'm not sure that's the best thing we should do. I'm just saying, I don't need ghosts in my life right now. So I'm just saying, oh... I'm just, you don't understand, like, I genuinely do get freaked out she by does. things like this. Um, I'm also saying I love the Scottish accent. And the third thing I'm saying is Your Terrible Muriel is a really good line from a film, a great film. No. Muriel, please, what? why is she a ghost? What? What was her unfinished business? Well, why don't we ask her? How do you ask her? Oh, no, don't have a ghost app. I suppose you're familiar with the concept of a spirit box. No, I'm not. Oh my god, I'm knocking all the microphones. Okay, you need to calm down. Um. Okay. I'm, this I on the inside. I'm. Not... I'll just turn that off for a second. This is this is called necrophonic. I mean, you've got a choice. We can either use a pendulum. Oh, I've got a pendulum. Yeah, well, you've got another one now. It's an amethyst one because I know you like. Amethyst. Oh, mine's aventurine. So we can either use that, get it to work. or we can use the necrophonic app which someone recommended this to me on Twitter yesterday and did sort of say, be careful with it. Um, no, why would you recommend that to him? Why would you recommend that to him? So the app, the app, Thanks. the app, like all spirit boxes, it will scan through electromagnetic frequencies. Okay. But it also has, what's different with this is it has a soundboard in there. This is a better that, kind of ghost. That when the electromagnetic frequencies get disturbed, by a presence okay the, the presence can potentially use the soundboard to communicate when you ask it questions whereas the pendulum is just like yes or, no. yes or no yeah so i think we should perhaps try the pendulum first shall we okay yeah yeah okay and then we'll have a go with the app and see if muriel can speak to us directly why have you done this to me you know how I feel about stuff like that. I know. Get the pendulum out. Do you actually believe that? I ain't, I ain't messing with that. Because you're a man. So first right. you have to do show me yes. Okay, Muriel. And see which... No, first you ask the pendulum and you say show Pen me yes. Okay, it's going around in a circle. So it's going anti-clockwise. I don't know if everyone at home could see this, so I've just moved it. Let me just straighten okay. it. Okay, say show me yes. Show me yes. Not moving. It's, it's going anti-clockwise in a circle and then say, show me no. Show me no. It's going the same way. Oh, no, it's going, it's going clockwise. Way. Okay. <laughs> right, Muriel. Great. Muriel. Hello, Muriel. My She's not a joke, though. Like Muriel, hello. My name's Mr. Biffo. <laughs> My name's Paul. Thank you. Okay, Muriel. I know you're not a fan of men. But uh but I'm here with my wife. She trusts me. Don't you? Well She she trusts me to look after you, Muriel. I trusted you not to I was buy a contact. Raised by women. I'm surrounded by women. They all trust me. So you listen to my voice, Muriel. Alright, love? Okay, now do you trust me? What was it? Yeah. Anti-clockwise for no. Anti wait, anti-clockwise for no, clockwise for yes. Okay, Muriel. Do Muriel, do you trust me? Yes. Thank you, Muriel. Muriel? Muriel, do you like this house? Yes. Yes, Muriel likes our house. Mm Muriel, would you like to go towards the light? Muriel, would you like to stay here? Oh, no, don't. I really don't find this Oh, funny. no. No, okay. Where... <clears throat> Muriel, is there somewhere else you'd like to be? Yes. Yes. Oh, I feel sad. Muriel, are you happy? Yes. Muriel's happy. Okay. You feeling better about it? Um, I don't know. I want to ask direct questions. I okay, want to use the app. Okay, use the app. Okay, so this detects 
according to reviews online, this really works the same as a spirit box. It's had some really good reviews. So we're going to have a, have a crack. You can have that, by the way, as, a, as an apology. So silent mode is off. So have you got anything you'd like to ask me? Because I think it might come better from you. You're holding her and yet... Would you like to go wait, towards not, the light? Wait. Right, yeah. Let's go again. Would you like to go towards the light? Muriel, can you hear us? That sounded like yes. Muriel? Uh, oh. Muriel, is there any way I can make Sanya feel more comfortable in your presence? Muriel? I'll go drill. Muriel, are you aware of your surroundings? She does like to talk. Remember, remember, the seller said that. When did she arrive? Uh, about a week ago. No, end of last week. End of last week. We've had her in the house for a week. Yeah. Muriel, what is your surname? Yes. Muriel, what is your surname? Uh, Muriel, is your name Muriel Ass? Muriel, is your name Muriel Ass? Sorry. Muriel, do you have a big fat bum? <laughs> Okay, you're a man. Maybe try well, not to insult her. You ask her that. Her. You ask her that. I don't want to ask her if she's got a big fat bum. <laughs> she might have a sense of humour. Mir Muriel, do you like cake? Ah, no. I actually don't like you. She does. You were horrible to I start. I wasn't horrible. It was a film. I've earned her trust and you didn't. Muriel, um... Why... Why... Muriel, why are you still here? Why why didn't you cross over? She keeps farting. Okay, again, not helping. I think she's her. farting. Muriel, did you die of a bowel issue? Muriel, do you have a, a smelly bum? I can't help it. I'm hoping Muriel has a sense of humour. Muriel, do you have a sense of humour? <laughs> no. Yes. Muriel, I have one more question for you. Okay, Muriel. One more question. Make it a nice one. Do Do you like me? Oh, yes. Yeah, Muriel likes it. She likes a sense of humour. Oh, she's really talking. Maybe she has a crush on you. Muriel, would you like to go out with me? She's sitting right here. I mean, you know, you can't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> Muriel hasn't shut up, has she? Muriel, that's enough now. All right? I thought the thing was in the... Oh, do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. That's enough now, Muriel. You're musical, Muriel. Would you like to sing us a Scottish song, Muriel?
Would anyone like us to send them Muriel? She likes yeah. traveling. If, so if maybe you we would could like send Muriel, them And you will to give you. her a good home. Or you could send her to someone else because she likes traveling and she could do... You could, we could all take photos of her in our towns or something and then she her lifelong send her dream <laughs> to travel will come true yes. and then she can cross oh, over let's to ask, the other let's side. Let's ask her. That, that would be a good idea. Muriel's journey. Muriel. Muriel's journey <laughs> through the... Muriel, would you like to send us to send you on a journey? serious the first person if anyone would like muriel to visit them the first person to send us uh their address to digitizer 2000 at gmail.com i will send muriel to them yeah we'll send her nicely packaged up yeah i'll probably just put her back in the box that she arrived yeah. in i'm just gonna see if muriel is wearing any knickers no don't okay muriel no, you can't a... disrespect her like that muriel's a boy doll you said she was a girl. She is, but she's trapped in a boy's body. Well, still, she might not want her, you to look under her kilt. But I just want no, to say... No, that's not... If, no, you're not doing that. I Sorry, just to see I'm going to was, like, protect her modesty because she she didn't ask for that. They're not meant to wear anything under their no, kilt. No you means no. Well, that was our Halloween episode. So whoever would like Muriel to visit them, remember her final wish in her life was to travel, travel. the world. And remember she doesn't like men. But she does so like me. You can, you can me. be a man if you want, but... Uh, you've got to be really nice to her. Yeah. I think preferably if there's some women living in your house, we're taking yeah. it far too seriously. For God's sakes, it's just an old doll. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,